Hi everyone, this is Marjorie. Welcome to my channel. Today's a special day. If you're new here, will you do me a favor and please subscribe and hit the little bell and then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And today is an exciting day for me because we have a guest, a special guest on my channel today. I would like to introduce, oh, you've met him already on the Dan and Marjorie show episodes. Dan, say hi. hi. <laughs> Dan has kindly agreed to occasionally, occasionally give me his opinion on some of the food prep things that I'm making for him while he begins this new keto journey that he's on. He has decided to start keto. He's been working out and he just would like to lose a few pounds, which will make it easier. So he's starting his keto journey now. He is starting it this morning with a cup of Bulletproof coffee. I have to show Miss Loretta this. Um, this is my new whipped cream canister. I'm not the greatest at it. You all know my big giant cup of coffee. You put the little, hold on, too many things in my hand here. You put the little CO2 uh, canister in here, screw this on tight, put your nozzle on. And this is my very first, well, I used it yesterday. I haven't got it shook up really, or I, I think I let too much of the air out. But you just squeeze the nozzle and actual yummy look at that it's hanging off of the end whipped cream comes out so dan's bulletproof coffee has in it vanilla flavoring um it's tarani which is sugar free he has a little dab of Kerrygold. he has some of this whipped cream and um oh MCT. collagen and mct oil so how's it taste dan delicious it's very good. It's good. He's gonna, um, I don't know if he's decided, I made him a big, I showed you the chart I made with lots of foods that I would say he might enjoy. And I've told him he can pick what he wants. So what are you gonna pick to eat later? You got any ideas? Um, are you gonna be hungry for lunch, like at noon? Or do you think you're gonna want breakfast this morning? Like mug muffin with, you know, He's trying to read How it. How about the old uh, standby bacon and eggs? Bacon and eggs. Yay. Who doesn't <laughs> like bacon and eggs on keto? So, yep, we're going to go for it. And um, I am not going to share Dan's weight, but I will share with you how many pounds he's lost or if he gets the keto flu. I he's... don't care. Oh, he doesn't care? Wow. He's not a woman. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll let you do it then. What I weigh 250 pounds. Whoa, 250. So he's... But I am six foot three. Yes, that's true. If only I were six foot three, then I <laughs> didn't even need to go on a diet. I wouldn't be married to you if you were six foot three. <laughs> wow. So you heard it here first. Okay, so this is just, let's see, we're up to three minutes. I'm going to try and keep these little um, interviews with Dan short because he's got important things like uh, a Cowboys game to watch today and. Mm -hmm. You know, he just really doesn't want to have his own YouTube channel, but he's You're agreed right. to come on. He does lots of things. Let's see. 20 years, Palm Springs Air Museum, it says on his shirt. So he um, was down yesterday. It was a flight. Did they fly in the sentimental journey? Yeah, B-17 flu. The B-17 flu. Well, tell them about it, Dan, for just a second. Well, they did three flights of about uh, 20 to 25 minutes uh, each that they're in the air. Um, it's a, uh, the name of the B-17 is Sentimental Journey. It flew in from uh, Mesa, Arizona, and they, uh, they sold rides. Uh, they had, uh, you could ride up in the uh, nose for a mere $825, or you could ride in the back for $425. Wow, now I gotta make eight hundred dollars by his birthday. <laughs> I think he, he might. won't be there. Today's the oh. last day. Oh, today's the last day. Okay. So and I'm waiting to see because Dan also goes in on Thursdays and works sometimes as a docent in inside the museum. So I'm waiting for the day he bumps into Palm Springs Cindy and I'm gonna go down there one of these days and Cindy and I have already talked about maybe having a little doing a little YouTube video, maybe at the museum, having lunch or something. So anyway, I'm just going to cut this off. Is there anything you're worried about other than just being hungry and maybe um, 
the keto flu. Is there anything you're worried about with keto? Um, just my cravings for certain things like uh, bread and ice cream. <laughs> bread and ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're gonna do our best to okay. take care of that. And all of you keto people know that after a few days, those cravings are gonna be gone and his energy is gonna be through the roof. Oh, thank you. I can't even wait because he's already energetic enough. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm just gonna say bye. Thank you for watching. And we will check in next time and see if Dan's pea sticks are turning purple and see if he's losing weight, see if he's got any keto flu and see what's going on. So maybe in another day or two when he's in the mood, he'll be back and tell you what some of his favorites are. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.